This is the first class of the series of classes on bracket algebra. Dirac proposed a notation that is referred to as Dirac's bracket notation. Using this notation, that is using Dirac's bracket notation, we get Dirac's bracket algebra. This algebra is simple, easy, elegant and handy. If we use Dirac's notation or Dirac's bracket algebra, study of quantum mechanics becomes very compact and neatly packed. The presentation of quantum mechanics becomes very attractive, graceful and stylish. Let us now come to the notation that is Dirac's notation. Consider the first bracket symbol. From this symbol we derive two notations. First we rewrite the first bracket as angular brackets. Then we place two vertical lines within it and we split the first bracket into two parts. The left part is referred to as bra notation while the right part is referred to as ket notation. Clearly from first bracket symbol we are led to two notations one is called bra or bra notation or bra symbol or bra vector the other is called ket or ket notation or ket symbol or ket vector now let us define what we mean by ket consider a column matrix which consists of only a single column of elements and may contain any number of rows. Let us consider a 2 cross 1 matrix that is a column matrix with two rows like A1, A2 or B1, B2 or 1, 0 or 0, 1 or 1, I or say I1 or 1 minus i and so on so forth. We can also think of 3 cross 1 matrix that is a color matrix with 3 rows like A1, A2, A3 or B1, B2, B3 or 1, 0, 0 or 0, 1, 0 or say 0, 0, 1 or 1, I, 1. We write or represent the 2 cross 1 color matrix A1, A2 as ket A in 2D or 3 cross 1 color matrix A1, A2, A3 as ket A in 3D. Similarly, we write or represent the 2 cross 1 color matrix B1, B2 as ket B in 2D or 3 cross 1 color matrix B1, B2, B3 as ket B in 3D. We can also write the 2 cross 1 color matrix 1, 0 as ket 1, 0, 1 as ket 2 in 2D space and similarly 3 cross 1 color matrix 1, 0, 0 as ket 1, 0, 1, 0 as ket 2 and 0, 0, 1 as ket 3 in 3D space. Similarly, the color matrix having n rows a1 to a n can also be denoted or written as ket a in n d space. It is by now very clear that ket is a column matrix or column vector. We note that we can add two kets. Suppose ket a is the 2 cross 1 color matrix a1 a2 and ket b is the 2 cross 1 color matrix b1 b2 then ket a plus ket b is the sum of two color matrices add the elements individually let us define a1 plus b1 as c1 and a2 plus b2 as c2 this generates a new 2 cross 1 color matrix namely c1 c2 that we define as ket C. 
So what we get is that ket A plus ket B is equal to ket C. Note that ket A, ket B and ket C are all kets in the same 2D space. Let us now multiply a ket by a number which in general may be complex number. If ket A is a 2 cross 1 column matrix namely A1, A2 then alpha into ket A will be alpha into column matrix A1, A2. Take alpha which in general may be complex inside the column matrix and so the elements are alpha A1, alpha A2. Denote alpha A1 as B1 and alpha A2 as B2. So a new color matrix is generated namely B1, B2. We denote it as ket B. So what we get is alpha into ket A is equal to ket B. Note that the ket A and the newly generated ket B both are members of the same 2D space. We now define what we mean by bra. Consider a row matrix. It consists of a single row. Consider a 1 cross 2 matrix that is a row matrix with two columns say D1, D2 or say T1, T2 or 1, 0. We can also take for instance 0, 1 or 1, I, I minus 1 etc. We can also consider 1 cross 3 matrices that is a row matrix with three columns say D1, D2, D3 T1, T2, T3 or 1, 0, 0 or 0, 1, 0 or 0, 0, 1, 1 minus i, 0, etc. We write or represent the row matrix D1, D2 as bra D in 2D and also the row matrix D1, D2, D3 as bra D in 3D. Similarly, the row matrix T1, T2 is represented as bra T in 2D and T1, T2, T3, this row matrix can be represented as bra T in 3D or 1, 0 as bra 1, 0, 1 as bra 2 in 2D. Similarly, 1, 0, 0 is bra 1, 0, 1, 0 is bra 2, 0, 0, 1 is bra 3 in 3D. The row matrix A1 to AN is represented by bra A in ND space. We note that bra is a row matrix or row vector. We can add two bras. If bra A is A1, A2 and bra B is B1, B2, then bra A plus bra B is given by the sum of the row matrices A1, A2 and B1, B2. This leads to a new row matrix whose elements are A1 plus B1 and A2 plus B2. Defining A1 plus B1 as C1 and A2 plus B2 as C2, a new row matrix is generated namely C1, C2 which we define as bra C. So we get bra A plus bra B equal to bra C. We note that bra A, bra B, and bra C are all members of the same 2D space. We can multiply a bra by a number which may be complex in general say alpha. If bra T is the row matrix T1, T2 then alpha into bra T is alpha into the row matrix T1, T2. Pushing alpha within the row matrix we get a new row matrix alpha T1, alpha T2 defining alpha t1 as p1 and alpha t2 as p2 we end up with the row matrix p1 p2 we define it as bra p so alpha into bra t is bra p we note that bra t and bra p both are members of the same 2d space let us now put forward a question are bra and ket related we shall discuss it in the next class